nine and two for Longview as we start this second quarter. The ball is at Marshall's 16-yard line. Longview owns a 14-0 lead. And the football at the 16-yard line. What a great night for a football game. Let's make some noise out there. Come on. Double tied in set for Longview. The Cedric Hunt is the eye back on third down and two. There goes Hunt, left tackle, 10-5 touchdown. What a nice cut it was, John. Right up the middle, he made a nice cut and untouched. Yeah, and it was a good job of blocking as they uh, uh, Green pulled from his uh, guard position, made a kick-out block, and Cedric Hunt followed in right behind him and got uh, the score on his first carry of the night. You know, we don't mention much about C.J. Green. He's kind of silently moved into the lineup. He's about 275 or 80. And about 6'5 or 6'6, so a junior. Here's the extra point attempt. Kick up. No good. Long you missed it. 20 to nothing with 11.55 to go in the half. Back on 104.1, the ranch in one minute. It's Philly by Sadler at the 15-yard line. Back up the field. He comes to the 25-30, all the way out to the 35 or 6-yard line. So a short kick and a nice return. And Marshall will scrimmage from their 36 first down and 10. Well, you with a six-play drive to get the score co- covered 68 yards. The touchdown, a 16-yard run by DeCedric Hunt. To his only carry the first half goes for a touchdown. And uh, the big play in the drive was uh, uh, – a uh, long run by Aaron Johnson, a 39-yarder. A lot of you missed the extra points. It's, uh, 20 to nothing with 11.55 to, to play. A lot of you was offside, so they get penalized five more yards. It's out to the 41, so good field position for Marshall. At their own 41-yard line, first and 10. A lot of you with a 20 to nothing lead with 11.48 to go in the half. Bunch formation near side of the field. Wide receiver to the near side. Out of the spread formation. It's Gerald, the quarterback. They're going to run it up the middle. Nice hole. Good hole for Hey, Good. Darden's going to get him at the 30, at the 28. Hey, Good with a nice little burst as he goes over right guard and gets it into uh, the plus territory, a, a 32-yard gain by him. Yeah, Alante Darden saved the touchdown at the Longview 27-yard line. So it's 20 to nothing. First down and 10, Marshall, with 11.40 to go in the half at the Longview 27. Two running backs on either side of Brandon Fitzgerald in the uh, red formation. Two wise near side and one far side. And they're going to run it again this time. Not much uh, happening to the 25 or 6-yard line. A couple of yards gain. Thomas Jones made the tackle for Longview, the linebacker. You can also register the win. Second down and eight for Marshall. At Longview's 25. And pick up your local mini football. Three near side of the field, one to the far side. Wide receivers they are. A good, the running back. Second down and eight. Fitzgerald is going to throw this one. A quick out. Tackle at the 19 by Eddie McGee. Williams with just a little quick out makes the catch, but uh, McGee comes up and hits him and is short of the first down. But uh, they're going to what, lack about a yard, giving pretty good uh, progress. Third down and a yard at the Longview 19 yard line. Third down and a yard from Longview's 19. Marshall's going to go with Bunch to the far side of the field on third down in the yard. Hey, Good's the running back. They're going to give it to Hey, Good, and he is going to be tackled short of the first down at the 24. It's going to be fourth down for Marshall. They need a yard at the 24 yard line. That stop was made on the play by Chris Weaver along with Javoris Jordan. So it's fourth down. Marshall actually lost a little bit. So it's fourth down, back to the 19. Fourth and two. At the long 19-yard line, fourth down and two. Wildcat formation. Bryce French is the running back. 
French is going to run it up the middle. Did he get it? Yes, he did to the Longview 16. Yeah, they faked it to Haygood this time and pulled it out. And the ball was kept by French, and he pops it in there and does get enough for the first. And Looks like he's a little slow getting up. He's got a first down in Longview 16-yard line. First down in 10, Marshall. Jared Hayes is the man down. Oh. I guess he got hit off. First down at Marshall, 16. Or Longview, 16. First down and 10. 9.25 to go here in the first half. It's a 20 to nothing Longview lead. Marshall threatening at Longview, 16. And Fitzgerald's going to throw this one to the end zone. He caught it. Touchdown. Well, what nice coverage it was right in the back of the end zone. Yeah, Brooks had the coverage. They faked a little uh, inside that and then just turned and went up top, and they they get the ball out to uh, DeMarcus Sadler, and he makes a good catch for the score. 20 to 16, 20 to 6 for the extra point to come. Giovanni Aquino will attempt, this, uh, attempt the extra point. Brandon Fitzgerald will hold it, and Samoni will snap it back. There's the snap from center. The kick is up, and the kick is good. 20-7, to seven, Longview, 9-13 to go in the first half. We'll be back on Lobo Football. And Welcome back, everyone. Marshall's on the board. It's 20-6, to six, or 20-7. to seven. Here comes the kick. It's a short pooch kick. It hits the ground. It's going to be recovered. No, Marshall couldn't get it. Wow, Longview they hit the ground over there. And Marshall had two players right there at it, and neither one of them could pull it in. They sure did. Longview got a break that time, and they'll get it to the 33-yard line. Coach Anthony didn't feel it. He let it hit the ground, and then almost went, and then it went out of bounds. So Longview at their 33, first down and 10. 9-12 to go first half. It's 20-7. to Longview leading. And the football at their own 33-yard line. Marshall with their first score with a... <clears throat> a five-play, 59-yard drive. The touchdown is a pass play uh, from Fitzgerald to uh, Sadler for the score. High formation for for Longview. McCray, the running back. Two wide receivers to the near side. There's the toss sweep to McCray. To the near side he comes. He's to the 41-yard line. And he got eight yards on that carry. He's going to be second down and two. Yeah, he's tracked down by the linebacker, Sam Maloney, but uh, picks up eight. Well, I guess seven to the 40-yard line, second down and three. 8.48 to go, first half, 20 to seven. That's our score, Longview leading Marshall. With Sean McGee in the game at quarterback for Longview on second down and three. Two wides to the far side of the field, Johnson in the slot. Second down and three. From the 40-yard line. Here's McGee to throw it, backs up. Now chase from the pocket. Now runs. Now throws this one down the field. It is incomplete and almost caught by Fortune at the 35, but almost intercepted it also by Daria Clow. Well, that is a dangerous throw. He rolls to the right, tries to uh, throw back to the middle of the field, and Fortson uh, was well covered. And in front of him was uh, the defensive back, Daria Clow, and the ball. He leaped, couldn't get a hand on it. And then it goes to Fortson, who was probably blocked by Clow and ended up dr- dropping the ball. Well, that was a dangerous throw there at the 40 yard line. Second down, Longview needs three yards for a first at their own 40. Third down and three. Wing to the near side of the field is Johnson. Wide receiver Forts or P- Robertson to the far side. High formation. Third down and three. And a penalty flag. That one was to Keelan Shaw and Shaw. The play was signaled, whistled dead prior to the snap. <clears throat> Let's hear what go, the penalty go against is. Long view. Procedure. On the so instead of third and three, it's going to be third down and eight. Back to the 35. Well, that changes it, though. Yeah. Yeah, play sure selection, or at least the, the number of plays that you think you could call. Lane Thompson in the game for Longview, wide receiver. It's third down and eight for Longview. 